they told me I'm supposed to paint this whole thing first before I do anything more to keep the bugs from getting into the wood. But look at this. That's after a minute and a half on a paint shaker and it didn't mix so I'm going to have to
All right, ladies and gentlemen, so here is our chicken brooder, all brand new and clean. Well, at least the outside is. Um, that little feeder down there uh, is new. That water is used, and that feeder is used. Um, I cleaned that feed or that water out with vinegar before I put it in here because I didn't want the chicks to get sick or anything, even though it was clean when I got it. Straws in the bottom. That straw stinks, just so you know. It stinks. There's a little bit of water in there where the the uh, water spilled there. We are going to go over and get the chicks. It'll be at least an hour before they get here because we have to go to Lewiston and we have to pick them up at Lewiston, Idaho, and bring them back here. It's to take, you know, it's like a 30 minute trip. 45 minute trip and then we got to put them down in there and let them run around and and get settled in so we got feed on this end two feeders on this end so they can figure it out and the water over there now I was a little concerned that they might fall in that water and not be able to get out but the smaller ones are the same way uh, they, they seem like at the bottom isn't quite as deep but uh, but yeah so they, they're very similar so I just decided to use that one um, I have much larger uh, waters and feeders to use, but that's for the chicken house, and these will probably be used in the chicken house too. So, up here to hang my light, some people use a rope or a string. I decided not to do that. I decided to put two nails up here and put the chain through the nails twice and just clamp it on the edge of this table because then that way I don't have to worry about it falling or the cord catching on fire or any of that. Yeah, this cord probably shouldn't be underneath it. Put it over here. Um, but yeah, other people, you know, they, they use strings and things and I'm not doing that. So I still can adjust it up and down. I don't think that's going to be an issue because the chicks can move wherever they want to in this container. They'll be able to move to either end, do whatever they want. I have another bulb to put in here. Um, they said it's important is you know have another bulb because if it goes out and you got to put another one in the stores closed you got a problem so it's all there I don't know I guess I should put a thermometer down below the light there on the bottom and just see how warm that gets while we're gone um, and go ahead and leave it on cause it's gonna be running 24 7 anyway once the chicks are in there so an hour extra doesn't seem like it's gonna hurt so I think we'll leave it going maybe I'll dry that water up I spilled down in there and I'll put a thermometer, just lay a thermometer down in there while I'm gone and see what it is when we get back. Now, the chicks are supposed to come in Happy Meal containers, McDonald's Happy Meal containers, obviously not from McDonald's. And they say that they're supposed to be good all the way home. It is warmer than it has been, so that should be good for the chicks. Uh, we're having like 40, maybe even 50 degree days now. Um, so that's, that's a lot better. The snow's melting. And uh, I got to paint I got to try to paint the chicken coop today the frame because I'm going to put the roofing on and before I put the roofing on everything needs to be painted so that the bugs and stuff can't get in the wood so there we go these are the chicks and it's their first day here in the uh, incubator there's eight of them I think from this perspective you can see one, I don't know how many of them you can see, but anyway, there they are. They have uh, no problems adjusting to the environment so far. Uh, the feeders and everything are the same as what they had at the store. It looks like I'm going to have to clean that straw out of there. Maybe I need some sort of a strainer, like a fork or a spoon or something, I don't know. But I clean that out of there. And we got, uh, they've been digging in the straw like they're looking for bugs or worms or whatever and there's their feed and they went to work eating right away as soon as we got them back from over in Lewiston and uh, you can see they've already laid uh, two eggs down there. No, those are ceramic eggs and having those around them is supposed to teach them not to peck real eggs so basically um, those are just there so that they'll peck them and find out that they can't destroy them um, anyways, they, uh, most of them were very friendly and very easy to transfer. There was two or three of them that didn't want me to pick them up, but that was okay. I still was able, and of course I washed my hands first before I touched them. And these are, these are the Rhode Island red, um, chickens. And, uh, anyway, so... 
they they were hatched on 317 of 2019 and today is uh, 321 March 21st 2019 and this is their first day here and they are having no problems learning uh, how to use that feeder over there they dive in their heads in there they seem to prefer that one to the uh, to the round one that hangs which is kind of strange I guess it's because you know it's like they're digging for something like digging for bugs or digging for I don't know it's that natural digging action I guess that's they, they're more interested in that for some reason but there they are do you want to learn to follow the commands of the almighty one true God if you do go to christiancourts.com there's a free PDF book you can download audiobook and video where you can listen and learn God's laws make America great again help establish Christian law in communities all across the world God bless you this video is brought to you today by Blazing Hog 4G LTE. Get blazing fast internet speeds up to 150 megabits per second. You get $49.99 off when you use the code and the phone number in the description of this video or the code right below my finger here, the coupon code. It works anywhere, rain or shine, within five miles of an AT&T or T-Mobile cell tower. Check it out. All you have to do is call 1-888-306-7062 and mention account number SR2808 when you call. These speed tests keep changing because some people are using this cell and they're not. Look, we're now at 50, 60. There we go again. So I was talking about 63. We actually got up to 63 that time. Okay, we're going to upload again. 18.32 upload. Now enjoy the rest of this video. That's an order, son. Well, thanks for watching the video. Subscriber Chicks are here to tell you to make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe, and ring that bell. And that 4K videos are good for you. They're good for your health. The Unboxing Authority videos, you need to subscribe and watch them. And make sure you check out ChristianCourts.com, How to Build a Moped.com, How to Win in Court, which is all down in the description. And uh, make sure you check out the Blazing Hog 4G LTE internet. You get $49.99 off. You want to get the best internet for your livestock and your poultry, you know. So make sure you get the best for them. So Blazing Hog 4G LTE internet, that's what you need. All right. God bless you. Bye.